Jacob Seelman for Race Chaser Online and the Performance Motorsports Network. Uh, Sprint Cup race going on outside and inside. Talking with JD Motorsports driver Garrett Smithley. And last time you and I were talking at this racetrack, it was an emotional day. One of your best performances in this series. I know how much it would mean to you to replicate that in the Xfinity race today. But I think more importantly, this track has, has signified that step up for you, that this place has been where you've been able to take it to the next level with this team and with the, res you know, what resources you guys do have. What's the emotions coming back here in the fall, knowing what you did in the spring? Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> earlier this weekend, I was driving past the track on the way to practice, and I was like, man, I used to live here pretty much doing the Petty Experience and running summer shootout in the Legend Cars, and I never see this place anymore. So it was kind of cool coming back, kind of like a cool homecoming. And yeah, you touched on it. Um, I think to this day, that was probably my most proud moment all season is running 15th in that race. So uh, with JD Motorsports, you know, we do what we can with what we have. Johnny gives us amazing equipment. Um, and he, I mean, he does the most with, 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 the, with the least amount of resources. So um, coming back here, I mean, obviously we want to definitely repl replicate that. Um, I, again, I've run so many laps around this place with the Petty Experience, and then, you know, I, I took a video and put it on Twitter earlier um, of the the quarter mile racetrack that I used to. I mean, I ran so many laps in, in Legend cars, so it's always special to be back here in the Xfinity Series. And yeah, if if we can replicate that, it's going to be another awesome day. How big is the comfort factor here because of how much it really takes a rhythm to get around this place? Yeah, and it, it, it always surprises me when I come to this track in partic particular. This mile and a half track is probably one of the hardest because of the speed. All the G-forces, there's just something about this track that's so fast. You have to be on the razor's edge to be fast. And obviously going from a, a night race, which was what we planned on, now going to a day race, it's going to be a little different. So um, I've spent some time listening to uh, some of the cup guys, listening to my spotter Bob on uh, Tony Stewart's car and trying to learn some of the lines. I know I think it's going to be a little bit slick, which I think is going to play to our advantages. Um, JD Motorsports as a team, I think we're always better when it's hot and slicker. So, um, yeah, and, and that comfort level, it's almost like, some stress is gone because you're you know you're back home you just feel like like you're back home same thing with Atlanta Motor Speedway with me uh, same thing with Pocono just something about those three tracks just makes you feel really comfortable coming back as far as this weekend I know the partnership with Sports Center Fitness on the car and it you know it, it's a feel good especially for you guys because the number nothing it, it kind of came about because you started the season really having nothing on the car and to be able to build some of those partnerships I know has been special for you talk about that this weekend and kind of how that came about yeah it's so special to have some of these partners come on board last minute and really support us every little bit helps with our team um, Ross with Ryan all their partners with my personal partners with Johnny's partners we just try to all get them all together and and do what we can with it and you know we, we do a great job with it um you know I I I don't like to brag on that part but I mean it's just you know it's, it's incredible some of the stuff that we do and, and uh, sports center I I'm gonna throw myself under the bus a little bit um the last few years, I've been uh, really bad uh, with physical fitness and personal fitness. I haven't been like a gym gym guy at all, and uh, I started going there earlier this year. And uh, really, something that I can really be passionate about because I've I've seen a difference in me personally, just on the physical side. Um, you know, on the nu nutrition side, it's so important. You know, take racing aside, it's so important to to keep yourself healthy and and. Um, you know, help yourself in life. So, um, really cool to have them on board. Uh, Sports Center uh, Fitness. It's a. Re it's actually a really cool place. It's not your normal gym. It's got. They got pools. They have uh, tennis courts. They've got basketball courts. It's a really cool place. And if you come, grab this hero card uh, uh, at any time. Uh, you can. You can request it from uh, on JD Motorsports or uh, on my website GarrettSmithley.com. Uh, you can get a hundred dollars off of a uh, membership there at Sports Center. So it's in Concord, um, right down the street from where I live. So uh, really cool to have them aboard, um, and all of our partners all year: Flex Seal, Flex Shot, GNK Services, and Stalco, um, Kentucky Fame, Mubia. Just there's so many awesome partners this year, and you know we're hopefully hopefully going to be able to grow that for next year. 
I was going to talk about that because Ryan was talking with us on Thursday night after he won the modified race and said, you know, was talking about Johnny and even you've said it before how he's a handshake guy, very old school. And Ryan, you know, Ryan said his deal's basically done. Should we expect something similar for you, or are you expecting any major changes, or are you looking to be back with this zero team for next year? Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with what we have going at uh, J Motorsports. I think. Uh, all three drivers, uh, Ross Chastain, Ryan Priest, and myself, we've worked really, really, really well together. And the more we race together, the the bigger that relationship gets, and, and the easier things get. Uh, you know, all the crew chiefs, all the crew members. It, you know, Johnny's such a such a family oriented guy, and like you said, old school handshake. I love that stuff, and I think that th there needs to be more of that in NASCAR. So, um, nothing's set in stone yet, but uh, me and Johnny have talked a few times, and um, I'd I'd be absolutely you know ecstatic coming back with JD Motorsports next year. Grade yourself, you know, based on what you guys have been able. I know you're already laughing at me. Just kind of, you know, from where you expected this journey might be to where it's actually taken you to this point, how do you rate this first full season in the Xfinity Series? Honestly, to be sitting here at Charlotte, you know, less than less than 10 races to go uh, to, to, to the end of the season, and we're still running strong. We've run all the races, um, you know, with the exception of Daytona, the first race. Um, coming into JD Motorsports, going into to his shop in Gaffney, South Carolina, I had no expectations. I didn't even know if I was going to get the ride. And with me, me and Johnny sat down. Um, we decided to, to do the first three races and just see where it went from there. And it's turned into a full season where I'm sitting, I think, 18th in points. Uh, we're sitting 23rd in owner's points, which is just phenomenal as, as a group, as a, as a race team, as a company. It's just incredible to have that. So for me personally, I had no expectations coming in, um, but I think to be sitting here, continuing to run strong, uh, to only tear up one car at the road course because of a blown tire, uh, to still be running all the sheet metal on, I think this is like the 14th race that we've run this intermediate car. We've run like nine or 10 races. We haven't changed any sheet metal on them uh, for the zero team. So I, I think going into that, it's got to be an A plus, right? <laughs> I like it, and I, th I think what you said to me after the May race was, was something to the effect of, we were thankful to be here coming in, but leaving with this kind of a performance takes it to that whole next level. You stand by that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really does, and uh, i got to give a lot of credit to this guy that uh, photobombed uh, Danny Gill as our crew chief on the zero car. Um, you know, Johnny obviously gave me the tools. Danny gave me the cars that I needed, um, and it's just been a huge team effort. So uh, hopefully we can continue that uh, towards the end of the season and uh, build, build off of our momentum and hit it strong for 2017. He said it. He's hoping to be back. Garrett Smithley building in a very successful first season in the NASCAR Xfinity Series.